Well, it is time to start the vlog for uh, August 15th. That's uh, Saturday. It is the weekend, so it is a uh, one-day uh, vlog over Saturday and Sunday. Because often uh, the day morphs, in, one day morphs into the next. Uh, although I don't think that's going to happen this weekend. Because uh, I am going to be convalescing this weekend. There, there is some things wrong that I have to allow my body to rest more. So uh, it's going to be more of a down weekend than anything else. But otherwise, uh, it's going to be standard. It's going to be the way it always is. You know, just to finish watching Kayla Davis, I'm off the main road of the uh, YouTube's, uh, YouTube stroll. I'm now on to my sidetrack. It basically is at the point where I leave off at Family Five Vlog. Uh, there are a number of teen vloggers in that area, so I've done that. And then I'll go back down the list to sort of see uh, what other teen vloggers are out there. I noticed a, a number of a number have posted for uh, uh, for this week, so I'll see what's there. I, I, I missed a couple of Kayla Davis's. Uh, uh, vlogs, but uh, uh, I'm catching up. I have one more left to go before I finish, so I can, so I can do that when I get up next. Uh, right now, my body's feeling fatigued, so I'm allowing my body to go back to sleep again. Uh, that's when you're when you're allowing the body co to convalesce. That's what happens. Well, it's time to end the Saturday and Sunday vlog. Uh, no YouTube stroll today between the two days. Uh, I've been in crash mode, sleeping most of the day since Friday. Uh, I'm still there. I'm still in the crash mode. I went, I, though I did my editing, I, I got uh, one video up. And I added another video that's queued up to go around, um, the queue to go up around noon today. Uh, I should be able to do two vlogs a day in terms of putting things up and the editing and so on and so forth. So that we can get back on track. That's the, 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 the whole thing is to get back on track. I have been vlogging every day and making that me, making the effort to vlog or have some degree of content. Oh, oh. Throughout, uh, throughout the day. And this includes, well, um, when I got up to go to the bathroom, I'm going to vlog this now because I'm going back to bed. I have noticed that when I am extremely tired, my, my enunciation falls off sharply. So I have to sort of in many ways slow down, slow my roll, if you will. Uh, slow down my speaking so that I uh, can enunciate my words. It's kind of like being drunk. <sighs> and as you take your breaths, deep breaths as you speak, the yawns, the fatigue hits the body very hard and you start to yawn. But you notice how I am in the field. This is, this is what happens 24-7. I said I'm not going to vlog just the good and pretty parts. I'll vlog everything. And this is the everything. You know, the sick days, the uh, the down days, the crashes, the uh, the fatigue, the drunkenness in terms of uh, uh, you're so fatigued you behave as if you're intoxicated. The dreams right now are unbelievable because I am a lucid dreamer. It just they're um, they they they, in many ways, describe a lot of the emotions uh, that remain to be that that are are unresolved in uh, in my uh, uh, makeup, in my construction of the emotional parts that are uh, that is me, my characteristics. And I began realizing this several years ago that, that, that dreams are not are not necessarily a foretelling of things. 
Although they do have that element, and they have an element really of 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 mystery, because you can experience places that you've actually never been before. And that was my thing, and and and, and in time periods that have you that that that. that uh, You've never experienced. So you can do time traveling. You can do uh, other worlds, other other planets, uh, other exi other existences. But the thing is, at the same time, is, is what you're presented with, no matter where you go or what you are, who you are, within the dream. What you're presented with, the cons the the continuity is always about the emotion. When you're presented with a position, position, what do you think of? How do you re react? How do you... How do you feel? And in a sense, when you're other places, or other, particularly if you're, when you're other people, You're getting to walk a mile in their shoes. You get to see what they see. You get to feel what they feel. And it places your existence in a position where you get to have experiences that, that, would, that you would not typically have if you were just simply yourself. And I find it, you know, quite amazing. So... Uh, that's what I'll be doing now as I'm going back to that and as such there are there is no Yali vlog or there is no uh, YouTube stroll although Yali vlog is always with us because uh, it's a discussion as to whether you're worth it or not and, and for me that's not even a question it doesn't matter how you feel about yourself or what you're worth or what you're not worth you continue on. There, uh, there's always something to learn, always something to explore, always something to do. It just, and this is, you can see that I have, and, and even in this case here, at this point in time, where I'm fumbling over my words and tripping over my words, I can't keep my eyes open. It's hard to keep my eyes open. It doesn't matter, these, the question, the worth is it doesn't really matter. What does matter is that you continue moving forward. The sense of the question, are, are you worth it, is a question of self-esteem, a question of uh, what we call motivational speaking. These are, in case of, you are worth it. As you say yourself in the mirror, these are messages of positive affirmation that you're a great person. But yet, the great sages, and I'm one, one of these sages now, I'm at the bishop level of, of my Eastern Christian church, and there is that Eastern Christian path of becoming a sage, of becoming a yogi. Uh, that's the long hair and the beard. This would be at the bishop level. It is different than the clerisy. The clerisy are the clerks of the church. Uh, there is a order of ordination, and um, you have to do certain things in order to qualify. But uh, as for myself, uh, there is the second path, and it's actually called a path that you walk, and you can achieve a point in a point on the path where you are at the position of bishop, at the position a uh, position of what's called a yogi or swami or whatever. And, but although, even though you haven't been ordained, it comes through your experience, your understanding of the spiritual. And one of the key components of the spiritual is being and living a selfless life. And this is an issue of humility, of being humble. That in many cases we consider ourselves amongst the low of the low. In other words, our self-esteem is not there. This is in 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 the, in the Indian term, which produces the yoga, the yoga, uh, the yoga sense. 
we live in order to live a, a dharmic life we need to transcend we need to to remove ourselves from our physical existence in other words our care our our, our attachment to the worldly existence needs to be removed in order for us to achieve a spiritual status and that is, that means and that's not a status of, of, of badge of honor it is it is a spiritual existence to be spiritual now with the Eastern Christian sense what happens is that uh, this is where Christ comes in in his mercy the love even though we are not perfect we cannot perfectly transcend there's a point where we have done enough and we transcend the rest is the the inaccuracies the mistakes we've made is are, uh, uh, we have made are forgiven grammar is difficult in, in this state and so the question is you know in terms of the Liaoi vlogs are you worth it because uh, it really doesn't matter the response is no refunds and eh, it's time to go back to bed and we'll see what happens with the rest of the day so I haven't started it yet it's five o'clock in the morning it's Monday I believe it's August 19th no August 17th it seems bizarre because this Although I'm thinking about July, it's August. Let me just check my date here. Yeah, it's 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 August seventeenth. Yeah. So we've done the weekend uh, from the fifteenth to the sixteenth, and now we're ending it in the seventeenth at five o'clock in the morning. This is odd. <laughs> and I'm still thinking back. In, I'm thinking back in July. I'm thinking the July date. Because I'm putting up the July now. Uh, so that's how far back we are. We're, we're back actually. Uh, uh, we're back. Let's see here. One, two, three. We're three. three almost four, four weeks behind. We're, we're, I just put up. Uh, the video for the 18th and 19th of July, so yeah, we're sing we're, we're behind uh, one, two, three, four. We're behind four weeks, so we're four weeks behind, and that's why it seems so bizarre to me because uh, I just don't have that sense of time anymore. the The fatigue, the 24 hour, the 24 hour days. Seven days a week just knocks me out. Anyway, see you in a couple hours.